Welcome back. Hope you guys had a great trading week. Um, so today I'm going to go over what's setting up for Monday and, you know, some of the trades for today. So while we're looking at the dollar CAD, <laughs> uh, this one is setting up for a nice um, day. It will be actually, so when this changes to Monday, this is going to be a two and that's going to be the three day trade. So although price didn't kind of close in the middle, well, actually, you know what? It shows that it closed down. So good. That's down. Um, but you know, it was right with the open. So I'm going to just use it because we have this low in it in, um, within this range. So we're going to use that as a guide anyway. And, um, looking for this thing to retrace somewhere within, um, you know, the 180R, 50%, um, to continue to break down. Hopefully that's what happens. Don't know. Um, but today we had a great, um, three previous day high trade on the GCAD. And this is one that I did take today. We can see here that we had the low and then here's where it confirmed, right? This is your first green day signal. Um, market broke the previous day high so that was one and then on day three we had market breaking it again that's two and then on the reset right so this is day one two three one two and three so here on thursday um we had the third break right so this is already telling you that we're gonna we got a reversal coming in and it did it reversed for the earlier session it did a you know, uh, you know, it just went to the high there about three times. So by the time I got to the market, um, it was pretty much setting up ready for me to short it. So I did short this. Um, and again, just because it's a three previous day high break, I'm sorry, I'm yawning. I'm tired. <laughs> um, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to reverse the market right away, but the reverse opportunity will definitely be there. Um, cause right now I don't know if it's going to continue. It's going to, I don't know if it's going to reset cause this also could reset. And then, um, we start all over and then this will be, you know, a one peak formation low. So I don't know what's going to happen on Monday, but that is definitely a favorite trade. Also GU did the same thing. However, GU, um, instead of see how GCAD gave us three, GU gave us four. So you can get anywhere between three or four breaks of the previous day high, because you can see here again, Monday, was a low Tuesday. Uh, it's the first green day, and it was a day two trend trade, right? That's what I call them. Um, and then Wednesday was nothing, but it still broke the previous day high. So there's one, there's two, there's three, where it broke the high on Thursday, and then Friday came to attempt to break the high again. So that's why it has four, and then the reversal was in. Okay, so another one where we do have a low in place. So this could perhaps, you know, it could, the, the trend could change. Don't know. Okay. But it was definitely an opportunity to short it and we'll see what happens from here. DJ was a trade, um, that was long today. Um, you know what I did fail to mention yesterday when it was showing a, a like it was going to short. I was like, this thing ain't shorting. <laughs> There's no way the way price was responding. And I always look at, you know, NASDAQ and S&P because they generally all correlate. They all do the same thing. And I was like, hmm. Um, so price hadn't, hadn't, there was just, I guess there just was not enough volume earlier in the session for, um, this thing to update yet to know which way it was going. But at when days are like that come, you have to pay attention to what price, you know, did. So this morning I was like, okay, it looks like we may have this peak in here. It's locked. This thing is going long. Um, and it was, you know, let me go to M5 real quick. Uh, it was your typical textbook trade, um, eight o'clock, uh, seven o'clock for me, rather. We had the high in place and then we have three levels of drop and then you're in. Um, from the low of the day. That was beautiful. And that was at market open, actually at 9.30 or 8.30 for me. Um, what 
else did we want to look at? So we looked at G, GU, GC, UC, and DJ. Um, okay, NCAD was also a good one because we knew this one was definitely, you know, like I said, um, the three sisters, they were all long. Now I have this all highlighted, guys, because this was that gigantic gap, you know, opened. Um, and it didn't look like this in futures. There was, I did not see a gap. So I'm like, what's up with that? <laughs> but anyway, same thing, you know, higher high inside, put three levels into the gap. And then boom, it took off at 9.30. All right. Sometimes it just plays out so beautifully. You're like, really? <laughs> uh, you know? So um, don't psych yourself out. I do it to myself. Trust me. I'd be like, what? So, you know, I'm not perfect. Anyway. Um, so, you know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a night. Guys, if you want to try this indicator go to my website and bring it on over here profit taker alerts.com profit taker alerts.com you want to try it for free you get 14 days I think that's plenty of time mt4 mt5 this is a trade manager it's $20 it helps you to um, it will lock you out of your mt4 account you can set it to lock you out after you hit a profit target um, or a drawdown or you know whatever it is that you set it um, it's pretty cool I love it so if you are on mt5 be sure you put your mt5 number here you know go ahead and try it for free and same if you are on mt4 make sure you select the one for mt4 and um, put in your MT4 account number there. And the My Account section, once you do all that and proceed to, to the checkout, um, you're gonna have your my access to the My Account section, which the file and the license key will be there for you. Okay. All right, guys, I am gonna call it a night. Thank you for joining me on Black Friday, day three. <laughs> right, we will see you guys next week. Ciao for now.